was not going to entertain the fact that she'd been, what, just one she know? Ivan Felipe Silva Morales, one of the most um, attractive looking fighters in the under 90 kilo category. I think I've overused that term. Lee Kochman, who I spoke to earlier, what a draw he has here. He's got to get past Silva Morales for a place in the semi final. It's Silva Morales in the white Jadogi, Kochman in blue. And he's going well, uh, Lee Kochman today. A couple of wins. If he does this, he'll, he'll come close to what we're talking uh, about. You know, we've been saying for a while, this is what he's, he's got to do. Well, uh, it's for the team uh, competition at the Olympic Games. Yeah, uh, take they, one they, for the team. Well, they need a representative. <laughs> they do. That's exactly what in, they do need. In the 90 kilo category, yeah. Where is he? I'll, I'll have a look on the on the world ranking list as well. I'll just see where he is. 52, I think um, I said this morning, didn't I? Yes, I think he did. 52. He could, he could do with a, a win. Silva Morales will pick up the penalty for just blocking that attacking leg. Kochman attacked and Silva, Silva Morales almost uh, instinctively put a, a hand down there. And then he comes back with that right-sided Seonagi effort. Kochman just moving off to his right to avoid getting caught. Both nice and upright. A little faint from the Cuban, but Kochman didn't fall for it. And then he looks to go left side with the Uchimata, and then the Kosoto, and he catches Kochman. Just when he thought he was getting away from the Uchimata, he went around the back and brings him down for Wazari. Good score from Silva Morales. Yeah, He's um, a handful, isn't he, Silva Morales? He yeah, just yeah. He's so dangerous, yeah. you know, with his uh, techniques. Neil stepped away from the commentary position for a, a moment and returned with all manner of goodies. And it reminds me of the COVID days when I happened to get COVID after the Paris Grand Slam one year and I was locked in my hotel room and Neil turned up with two goodie bags full of snacks and drinks and stuff that I was going to need for the next 10 days as they locked me away in isolation. And Neil How much did you enjoy those though? Well, Neil disappeared back off to the UK saying, you'll be all right, mate. I've had it before. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. <laughs> It's the worst feeling. That was the worst. <laughs> I think all of us, everybody th listening in, has a story from that particular uh, strange time in our lives. Kochman picks up a Shido. And Silva Morales picks up a second Shido. Now, here's the real danger. Kochman's got to get uh, his foot on the gas here and really try and press it home. Well, especially a minute and a half. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh no he, more. He just attacked over stretched and uh, what a counter that was, wasn't he, it? He did what he what we said he should do, which was to get going. Unfortunately, as Neil said, he overstretched himself. Silver Morales took it. Right. Rafael Machado of Brazil goes up against Georgi Jabniashvili of Georgia. It's Machado in the white jodogi. Jabniashvili in blue. I haven't seen any of Jabniashvili today. My first look at the under 90 kilo. You've got to bear athlete. in mind as well. I mean, what is he, number three or four? Uh, Jabniashvili that is in exactly Georgia? Exactly what I'm going to look up. Because they've got a couple of useful players at that weight, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, kind of a world and uh, Olympic <laughs> champion, I think. Luca. Been given his chance, though. Yeah, Luca Maisoradze, Maiso the world number one. Lasha Bekari, the world number two. Becca Gviniashvili, number three. It, uh, he's 22 on the world ranking list. And Georgi Jabniashvili is number 73 on the world 
ranking <laughs> yeah, list. Yeah, I was going to say, not, not in Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> They've got a lot of depth, but he's not there, that much. He's their number four. Look at that. He gets it. So does Surakamigoshi. And he takes him over. Machado couldn't stop it. They've given Wazari. Have a look at this landing. I like this for Wazari as well, actually. Here, 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 and then onto the yeah, back. Yeah, without a doubt. It's actually bang, bang, and then onto the back. So, Wazari. Well, Machado has a chance to come back. Is that a wake-up call, do you think? I think so. Jabniashvili. Uh, by the way, an interesting little bit, piece of work. Is up against the world number 10. <laughs> and he's down at 73. And um, roughing him up a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, talk about opposite um, kind of styles, these two. Chado's got this beautiful flowing judo. Javanashvili wants the arm over the top, but he's still got some classical stuff as well. <laughs> so the kids are you know, doing the moves in the chair. <laughs> he's fighting for it. He, he, he wants to grip up, doesn't he? Oh, so the kids are. Oops. That was like brick wall, wasn't it? Going in there. Yeah, it absolutely was. You heard him as he went in. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit, uh, a bit strong. Oh, he's got oh, him again. He's got him again. This time it's Leonardo Gonçalves of Brazil going up against Laurin Berla of Austria. Gonçalves in the white jadogi, Berla in blue. And uh, a, a little bit of fun. Neil and I jumped in the car on the way back home, well, back to the hotel. And the driver, because we're staying at a hotel called the Leonardo. So the driver turned round to Neil and said, Leonardo? And I said, no, he's Neil, and I'm Sheldon. So <laughs> she, I guess you had to be there, didn't you? Yeah, she didn't find that very amusing. I thought it was a nice little joke. And then Very good. I'm, I'm easily amused. Gonsalves in the white jadogi, Berla in blue, and all of a sudden Berla takes on the mantle that uh, Aaron Farah uh, had to drop when he committed that uh, error by head diving, picking up Hanso Kamake. So it's down to Berla now, who gives Gonsalves a little tap. He steps away, he catches himself. He, he reluctantly gives a handshake. He was really unhappy about that, wasn't he, Gonzalez? Searching for a grip now, that's a better one from Burla. Put some pressure on. Oh, oh. He's so close, isn't he, with that Ashi Garuma there that he puts in, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Snakes the leg across. Everything blocked. It's going to go again on it. Oh, Chigari this time. Going for the uh, turnover here.
That kind of stopped dead. He's going to get a sheet out for that there, Concarvis. One minute 15 then, left, Konkavas, Shido, Bola of Austria, Shido, gets a second Shido there, Bola. Well, this is a close one, this, isn't it? They're both hooked up. And uh, you were right. Oh, there's the uh, Ashi Garuma again. Oh, very close there. Just quickly out of there. Kunkavas <laughs> looks up at the ceiling and says, oh, that was a little bit uh, fortunate. Um, struggling a little bit, Gonsalves. A couple of injuries. Trying to fight through it. Perla looking to be today's hero. He's ducked underneath. He's lucky to get away with that, Perla. Gonzalez right at the end picks up a second penalty. He came under some gripping pressure from Berla. We need a period of golden score to sort this one out. Simeon Katarina of the Netherlands has won his contest down on map number Four, he goes into the quarterfinal having defeated Anton Savitsky of Ukraine. Yeah, he's got him. Now, I, I didn't see the, the start of that, so... Uh, Vecislav Peretyeko is not given a score. Now, it could be because um, Berla attacked Gonsalves. That would be the only reason. Well, he's going to give a score, right? Gonsalves knew it. Berla accepted. But, uh, there. And now we've got a quarter final in the under 100 kilo category, Rafael Buzacarini of Brazil goes up against Simeon Katarina of the Netherlands. It's, it will be Buzakarini in the white jadogi. Katarina 
in blue. Big test coming up for Yulia Kurchenko. She's going to go up against Wada Rinoko of Japan in their semi final in the under 78 kilo category. The winner of that will face the winner of the other semi final. That's between Yelizaveta Litvinenko and Anna Monta Olek. That promises to be a really, a really tough one. Two tall and leggy and very physical athletes with. Uh, Litvinenko, renowned now for her Ashi Waza. Olek um, going to come up against a really tough one. Yeah, what's the saying go? When the going gets tough. But Karini is one of those kind of fighters that I have always thought um, should have better results. I mean, he's always there round about, isn't he? But um yeah, he had to win his spot in Brazil first of all, and then for a while he was their go-to guy. Um, he, he had a big rivalry with I can't remember who it was initially to to win the under 100 kilo spot. Then when he did, he had a good run at. Uh, at it, they sent him almost everywhere. But he's, he's never really um, fulfilled his p potential, really. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I could have a look at the medal record. That's always a a good indicator. I mean, he's at number seventeen on the world ranking list. The difficulty for him is that his teammate, Leonardo Gonçalves, is, is at number 16. So you're, you're already under some pressure and you've been around a good, good deal longer than your teammate. You're 32, or oh, he, he's 32 now. And during that time, he has never won an IJF World Tour event, never. 32 years old and it's not as though he hasn't had some chances chances he's been in seven finals seven finals and lost them all five grand prix finals two grand slam finals and lost them all he's been a very very good medal winner for brazil, brazil yeah very good um 12 15 medals on the ijf World Tour, 15 medals. Yeah, always there around about, yeah. isn't it? He just has not been able to pick up the elusive gold medal, whereas uh, Leonardo Gonçalves um, is 28, so four years, two has never, uh, well, he did, he won a Grand Prix. At le the very least that can be said is Gonçalves has done at le the very least that can be said is Gonzalez has done slightly better in having won a Grand Prix. Seven uh, medals he has picked up, but then you have, have to look at the, the number of tournaments that he's been sent to in comparison to his uh, teammate Buzakarini, and I suspect that Buzakarini has been to far, far more events slow to get to his feet yeah Buzakarini something is ailing him but it's Katarina who picks up the second or his second penalty
Yeah, he, he looks to me as if he's really struggling, Katarina, to, 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 to find the kind of, uh, yeah, to find the kind of um, balance, you know, but saying that he's, he, he is somebody that looks for mistakes as he nearly caught him there, but Carini almost went over. Percy just being asked to turn it down a little bit. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Need some, uh, some more time here. score then well that was a bad one wasn't it uh, he, he might just uh, receive he should receive a shido for that I mean that was just literally dropping on his knees without anything gets away with it wow well. oh, oh. <laughs> man up far off was it caught him on the rebound there Starting to flag now a little bit. Yeah, he was slow to get to his feet. Oh, no. Nice as she was, though, that was. Yeah, so was, close. Yeah. yeah, he was slow to get to his feet on a previous uh, cycle. And this one as well. Here comes Katarina. It's Katarina, whoever, has picked up the two penalties. He's on the edge as well. Another error, and that'll be it. Oh, that's a good effort, especially given that he's feeling, he's feeling it. it was really deep, just didn't have the power to finish off. He's, he's spent now, to be honest, Pizzacarini, after that last effort. Here comes Katarini, he has another go. Oh, okay, and another. Oh, I tell you what, he could wrap this up. If he's really brave here and he comes up with one big attack, that'll be it. This is what he's got to do, though. Yeah, he's, he's conned him. He, he, he just mugged him there, Neil. Yeah, he, he, I agree with you. It's just... That he had nothing left, Buzzacarini. He, he was so smart to, to come up with those two attacks. The likelihood of him throwing with either of them. Was and Georgi Jabniashvili, that will be on mat number three immediately after the semi-final between Mardit Kemps and Hillel Oster, which is taking place now. Mat number two, the semi-final in the under 100 kilo category, Matthias Madsen of Denmark goes up against Georges Fonseca of Portugal. It's the last contest here on mat number two. Madsen in the white jadogi, Fonseca in blue. Yes, I have to congratulate the organizers here in Linz. This is a very, very well put together uh, event. It's nice to have this mini final block just to prime you uh, before the five o'clock start. We'll have a break of two hours. I'm absolutely certain of it now. It's half past two here and everybody can prepare and get ready uh, to come back. Lee Kochman, by the way, has just won his contest, his repechage contest against Rafael Machado of Brazil. That's good news for Lee Kochman. Not out of it. He lost the quarterfinal, uh, got consigned to the repechage, but he's just won there. So we'll see, we'll see him in the final block. He'll be in the bronze medal match. And That's um, going to be a score, isn't it? Wazari there and uh, Fonseca straight into the attack. He's looking so much better, isn't he, uh, today? Madsen goes nice to over. See yeah. Fonseca of old. This happened in mat number four. Look at this one. This is Cockman there. Look at that Siatoshi. The one that we were talking about there where they latch on for the Ashiguruma and then just drive it off to the side or turn it into the Siatoshi. Oh, 
still a chance for a medal for Austria because Laurin Berla takes to the mat. He's up against Simeon Katarina of the Netherlands. A very, very tall order for the Austrian. He's got to get past Katarina and then he'll have a, a chance for a bronze medal in the final block. No more judo on map one. It's the last of the contests on map four. It's the last of the contests here on map two. And then we've got a few contests left on map three. And then we'll wrap it up for the prelims. It's going to go again, Fonseca. You just know it. And uh, there he is. He's right the way between the legs. He was right the way between the legs there. One more of those with a, a better grip. And he's going to take him over the top. He's just perfectly uh, uh, based for him, Mazden. And there it is, oh! And there it is, oh! Very close again. Another readjustment, and uh, there's still two minutes. It's only just over two minutes into this contest. isn't finished yet Well, this just happened on map three. And look, head goes down there. And that uh, is just not what you do. You can't do it now. You just cannot go anywhere near your head. Mat number three. Oh, beautiful. What a beautiful technique that was there. Silva Morales there with an Ashiguruma. And it, it puts him into the final. What great form he's on. So Silva Morales and uh, Iniashvili. That will be the final. Just a couple more matches left in this uh, final block. Uh, this, sorry, this uh, preliminary round, day three. I wasn't far off there, was it either? He didn't. Uh, he didn't redirect it. I don't. No, I don't. I don't think he did. Well, are they going to have a look at it? They are going to have a look at it. Well, he did uh, redirect it. 
And uh, so Fonseca in his first final for a while. And uh, we've got Kankavas here going for the Juji Katami. That might be on. He might have that on. Just with that. Talk about a domestic sort out. Talk about a domestic sort out. <laughs> so it's definitely uh, whatever happens here will go towards uh, their Olympic selection, I'm sure. There's one other match going on as well. It's Bola, Larin Bola of Austria going on against Katarina of the Netherlands. Halfway through this contest. Shido each. I think Bowler of Austria just beating Katarina. So he'll be fighting for third place tonight. Final block starts five o'clock, remember? Been close a couple of times with that Juju Katami as Kankavas. This was the uh, Wazari that did it. Not my favourite, that. Just landing on the shoulder. Right. Getting close there with that, Buzzacarini. And again, looking for the Juji here. He was so close a couple of times with that Juji. He really is. Well, I bet they didn't know that they were going to come and battle it out in the semi-final. He's going to go up for Kankavs. So that puts him under pressure. Have a look at the percentage of uh, golden score wins. Buscarini has the better percentage having to dig in. Well, you can tell, can't you? They they really know each other, these two. Any score now will sneak this. It's going to go onto the arm again. 
Well, definitely the one that uh, likes the Newaza exchanges, Concaves. Slowly wearing Puscarini down. And he's going to go on to the arm again. There he goes. Needs to get the head down. If he gets the head down there and uh, concentrates on the arm. But Crane, wants to get on with it. Well, both or neither have got uh, that much energy left. Oh, now then, that's it. Holder made contact there. And uh, for me, not. I don't like the score personally, but uh, I think uh, they might have a look at that to see uh, if that warrants the Wazari. They've been given it, so they, they have been scoring it. So, Buscarina will have to fight. The final between Lukas Kopalik of Czechia. He goes up against Yevgeny Balievsky of Ukraine. It's Kopalik in the white Jadogi Balievsky in blue. Kopalik has got his cheering section uh, directly behind map four. Yes, like you say, just everybody fairly local. Yeah, they didn't have to come that far. Chasing him down there, Kropelik. Well, you've got to ask yourself, haven't you? You've got to say, well, what um, inspires somebody to carry on? Two-time Olympic champion, two-time world champion. Here he is again doing another Olympic cycle. And you've got to say that when it comes near to the big one, he, he just seems to get it right. Oh, and he catches him, Sumagesh. And uh, just waited there, the arm went round the back and just, it, it looked almost slow motion, didn't it? But manages to take him over for a Wazari. And this might be it here now. He'll just slow this down just a little bit here. Tie it all up, try and tie that shoulder up. And uh, that shoulder, Oh, good stuff there by uh, Bolevsky. He says, no, not having any of that. I'm not going to let you settle. Yeah, different forms of Sumigeshi. Of 
quarterfinals everywhere. Well, it's getting uh, far enough down underneath every time there, Kapalik. He knows that he needs some uh, points and uh, he needs mat time. I think he was trying to decide whether it dropped down to under 100s again and then uh, something changed his mind and for sure he prefers it at uh, minus 100s straight into the hold there nice bit of Niwaza there and straight into the Tachi Shogatami don't think he's going to go very far from that Kapalik in blue and I know that Neil can't wait for this one to get underway. Yeah, I mean this is one of the uh, one of the kind of matchups that we all want to see. It's going to be Olympic Games mm. World Championship type uh, matchups, isn't it? This one, uh, two greats, uh, Tchishvili, former world champion Kapalik, current Olympic champion. But you know, so away they go. Could be the semi-final of any tournament in the world it literally could be yeah neil and i in the um pre uh competition show this morning uh we're talking about making sure that we always gave you you know a good opinion of what was happening and uh we stayed believable you know we kept our credibility by not saying it was great when it wasn't and uh this is a great fight yeah i mean it's a it's a great match isn't it oh look at this he, Ooh, he, he, he's he was pretty uh pretty quick to get out of there wasn't he yeah he still went back to him yeah. and gave him a little bit on the back yeah, he decided yeah i'm not a going but a little bit of a shake yeah. here I, I, I like that just to show that if there's something going on the ground i'm going to take it i'm yeah, not i'm, I'm going not, for yeah, it i'm, I'm not backing go. out no. and that's the best way uh, with anybody that's um used to attacking all the time they don't like to be attacked they don't Well, it's going to have to be strong attacks as well. Both of these in the top 20. Kopalik at 16, Tosishvili at 11. They'll want to close that and get into the top eight by the time that Olympic qualification closes. Yeah, I, I think uh, a lot of these top heavyweights, these uh, calibre, they will want to be in the top eight. They don't want to this in the first round. That was a nice little coach yeah. there from Capella. He's followed him. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, he's not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's no love lost here either, is there? Just a little bit, a little bit of needle there going on. Three times they've gone head to head. Tusicvili leads the series two to one the two wins were at the european championships in prague in in um just Alex backyard and at the european championships in warsaw back in 2017 the single loss however was in the final of the uh, give you an answer <laughs> there all right thanks for that <laughs> it's a, yeah fourth meeting then between this pair over a period of what seven years really goodness me yeah i didn't think touches really been 
He's going to go for it, Tushisvili. I like that. You know, he, he's come out here to fight. And as Kapalikas, you know, he, he's come out here to fight. And as Kapalikas as well. Took a bit of a whack there. Yeah, when they fought in the quarterfinal of the European Championships back in 2017 in Warsaw, um, Kapalik uh, was already uh, Olympic champion, albeit at the weight uh, below. 100 kilos he'd gone up to uh, plus 100 kilos then and um, Tusishvili was a, was a youngster coming up good attacking there by Tushishvili two really good attacks really strong ones and now this is uh, this is where Kapelik wants it and he's gonna just lift him off here try and tie up the top half and he says, no way am I going to get tied up here. <laughs> Lisa Rivers is the referee with the yeah. privi of privilege of having to be out in the middle between... She had a lovely she? That's yeah, been terrific. I mean, just talking to her just prior, she said, I, I said, you're going to have a great day. And uh, she's got the big one. <laughs> yes, it was the Olympic final again, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know? it is. She gets, she gets to referee it. Well, yeah, definitely. Come in here, mate. Yeah, yeah, come into my playground, he <laughs> says. Tushishvili is uh, getting closer with the with the throws. He cannot stay oh, there. Oh. Well, now that we'll see if you're... Uh, what you said was, you know, if you're down there, I'm going to have a little go. But he, he did decide not to. Kinda. He had a little dig, and then he thought, nah. if, I, if I stay here, I might come I, ru I run the risk of getting yeah. turned. So unless he... Right, so for me, I find that really difficult. On two occasions, he's almost turned him over into... Yeah, but an, 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 we're coming yeah. into the groundwork situation yeah. again. How is it not an attack? And, I, and I'm sure that that's an instruction. I'm, I'm t how is it not? You know, when you, when you nearly catch them for it on and it's so close. You know, okay, so when you're wasting time down there, but when it's a full on attack, it's got to be an attack. Hopefully, that will uh, be one of the things that will be looked at. You know, I could just never understand that. I mean, we, we, we've seen some of the groundwork exchanges uh, nearly two minutes. Out of four minutes, we had one two weeks ago. It was one minute, 52 seconds. You can't tell me that there weren't, weren't any attacks there going. You can't tell me that there weren't, weren't any attacks there going on. <laughs> yeah. Right, so now Kropelik is uh, gonna be uh, uh, under pressure now because uh, one mistake and he's gonna lose this. Tusishvili is in a place where he would rather not be. Oh, then, now then. Not far off. It's not as strong as the... That's a good, uh, that's a good attack. Yeah, it's a good oh. one. It's not as strong as Tushishvili's, you know, but it's still a good attack. And this is what I don't... Uh, I'd rather not see from Tusishvili, you know, signalling that he wants a false attack. It means you're losing concentration. No way was that a false attack. God, that was nowhere near. Keep focused. Yeah, no, he, he doesn't need to start refereeing this one now. He really does not. And he will. He, he's starting to talk to, you know, the table and gesticulate. And everything. It means he's not focusing on the job in front of him. Uh, this is where uh, uh, Krapelic could uh, yeah. steal yeah. it. I tell you, because he's brilliant at stealing this kind of match. He, he can pull it out the bag, Krapelic. Good stuff there oh. by Tushisvili. Excellent stuff. You thought he touched the leg. No, I'm, I'm saying... Excellent stuff. You thought he touched the leg. No, I'm, I'm saying you know, there's a chance in the middle here. Uh, uh, because if you attack at the edge, he'll crawl off. But once that attack takes place in the middle and he gets a chance to work on the ground, that's not where Tusic really wants to be. So, first of all, he's in golden score. Doesn't want to be here. You know, Kapalik, I think, is stronger. Um, as far as time is concerned, that's a good effort. It's a great he, effort. 
It was a great effort by yeah. Tushisvili. Some good stuff by Tushisvili. And, and, and the, the, yeah, they need to sit the uh, coaches down. They absolutely need to. And, and the thing is, they're, they're, they're begging. They're begging for a penalty. You know, this is this is where hopefully away well, he's been removed now. Yeah. So uh, this is where absolutely it should not in any way influence. Here we go. And he realizes here, doesn't he, Kropelik? He knows he's yeah. on the last chance yeah. here now. I think I think he also knows that um, uh, Tusis, Tusis Vili hasn't got a lot left in the tank. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I tell this you, this is I, it. I, I is, he's you're up right. and out. I think yeah. you're right. If he does anything down in the middle there, that'll be his chance yeah. there for the Neuwaza. Wow, great match. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, and he hasn't got a lot, has he? Yeah, he's finding Here it he difficult to draw breath. Here he goes. Kropelik. Kropelik. Yeah, oh, he's done, done it. it! He's done it. He has absolutely done it. And uh, Kropelik was the stronger, wasn't he? And he, he just, he took that, didn't he? He took the chance, came in for a second, had a second little stab at that. Are they going to score it? They're just having a look to see if he had the hands on, aren't they? I think, I think for me, it's where it started. No, it's all uh, good. Yeah, it's they like go. it. Yeah, see how it finishes. No, 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 no. we don't need any yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, what are you talking about?